So I just wanted to read a little bit for you from those uh, amazing testaments of Jewish people who met real original um, tribes, real people from from different tribes and brought like clear evidence and amazing, amazing testaments on, on those Israeli people. So I'm just going to read a few parts. Yaakov Danieli from Tel Aviv, Israel, he said he himself met many of the people in Pakistan. He met a, a, a leader of um, and few people from children of tribe that is related to the tribe of Binyamin. Today they are Muslims and they live over there in Pakistan, but they all remember that their ancestors were from the tribe of Binyamin. They don't remember themselves ever in the land of Israel. They don't have a tradition of remembering it. And they're talking about a war, a war between the siblings, between the brothers that took place in the desert between the tribes of Israel. And because of a horrible crash of the tribe of Binyamin, most of them been killed and certain individuals ran away to the desert and they never came back. They just wandered and wandered from one land to the other. And like we remember that story, it's written in the Bible that there was a story that is called Pilegesh Bagiva, a very unpleasant and very hard uh, thing happened by the tribe of Binyamin and that they did something very, very awful. And the rest of the tribes of Israel fought against them and many of them been killed. And you see that those people in, in the desert of Pakistan, they remember that uh, story, that's their tradition. Another story from a person named Hanania Davidov. And he said that he was in a group of merchants that were selling and buying um, merchandise in different villages. And they were close to the border of Pakistan, that it's a land that is full of mountains. And they and the Indian sellers are taking advantage of the situation over there. They're on, they're like coming and like whatever he's talking about, um, about his merchant. And then he's saying that one time he was with a group of ten friends, came to a place that was full of mountains, um, on the border of Pakistan, and he met the the sheikh, the leader, uh, the religious leader of that village, and they told him that they were Jewish. That fact woke up that leader's curiosity and his people, and they came all the time to visit us and to talk to us more and more. And he asked us many questions about our Judaism, and he said that they are from the tribe of Binyamin, from the children of Israel, and that in the time when the Islam um, was conquered those areas, they had to convert to Islam that they won't be killed. And he said, he's testifying, this person named Hanania Davidov, he's saying that in the eve of Shabbat, on Friday afternoon, they were lighting candles, lighting candles, and then they were covering the candles with a basket that was built from something like a net that it no one will touch it and they were very curious about our religion and how much we are keeping our religion how observant we are and they were just asking us but we were scared to ask them because afghanistan is a very radical muslim um, country so we forgot to connect with them because we didn't want it to be arrested for that communication. Because for a small thing that you just even like ask some questions or something like that, people can be thrown to prison for many, many years.